Is your screen visible to all of you? Muhammad uh, Saif Arsalan. Saif, are you there? Yes, sir. Okay. So, start uh, today. We were about to start Al Qaim. So, you just write a <coughs> topic Al Qaim. You know what is alkyne? Basically, it is an unsaturated hydrocarbon. It is a part of unsaturated hydrocarbon. Okay. And we can say bond between carbon and carbon is tripled. Wherever bond between carbon and carbon is tripled, that is known as alkyne and also its general formula is CnH2 and minus 2. If number of carbon is n, then number of hydrogen will be double the number of carbon minus 2. That is called alkyne. First of all, we are going to learn its structure. Okay. So how its structure and what its geometry is. So I am taking the smallest alkyne. The smallest alkyne is basically ethyne. Ethyne. It for two carbon and iron for triple bond between them. So we are taking triple bond between them. Then one bond left that will be satisfied by hydrogen. And now if you are going to check the hybridization of each carbon, that is sp. And the geometry corresponding to the hybridization sp is linear what it is it is linear the geometry is linear and the bond angle in linear is basically 180 degrees is that clear both of you arsalan and sir yes sir okay just write it and let me know if you are done with this very good arsalan Saf, let me know if you are done with this. Yes, sir. Then. Okay. <clears throat> we are going to name. Uh, I you take name some of the alkyne. Uh, like I'm going to give you a question. CH triple bond. C CH triple bond. C and then CH two and then CH and here it is CH3 and here it is CH3. Who will name it? Can you give the IUPAC name of the compound? Both of you. We should just name it, right? Yes, yes. I'll take name. Arsalan, any answer? See, what we do, if there is multiple bond, then we will 
give priority to multiple bond one two three four and five and name um, in writing IUPAC, we first write the name of the branch. So it is methyl. So we are going to write four methyl and in parent chain, you can see five carbon. So it will use, uh, it will <coughs> be pent. And you can see at first number of carbon, it is triple bond. So we can directly write uh, pent one ion or pent ion. Now you can give number from left or right in the second question, it won't matter. It will be same from both of the side. One, two, three, four, five, six. There is no branch, so we will jump on parent chain. Here, are, uh, here is six number of carbon in parent chain, so we will use hex, and then at carbon two, C two and C four, the position of triple bond. So two comma three, di, i. So this is the name of the given compound. Okay. Are you done with this, Saif? So it should be two and four, right? Yeah, yeah, sorry. It must be two comma four. Die. Yes, sir. Then, okay. <clears throat> Come to the main part, which is basically preparation so we are going to prepare alkyne preparation of alkyne see here is preparation of alkyne the first method is or the first from which uh, we prepare alkyne is from calcium carbide from calcium carbide we prepare alkyne first of all we have to prepare calcium carbide first so what we do is uh, first we heat or decompose with the help of heating calcium carbonate so it will be decomposes in two parts calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide is this clear now this calcium oxide will be treating with carbon coke and it will give CaC2 plus CO that is carbon monoxide CaC2 plus CO uh, you can balance it by using three carbon here and it is uh, and now it is balanced and this CaC2 is basically calcium carbide calcium carbide first of all we have to prepare calcium carbide now this calcium carbide will be hydrolyzed or we dip it calcium uh, we dip calcium carbide into water and it will directly give you ethane c2 uh, c2 uh, c2 h2 not c2 h6 that is ethane c2 h2 along with calcium hydroxide since here calcium is present so calcium will be hydro uh, since calcium is uh, what metal it will be basic so calcium hydroxide will be the byproduct with main product ethane just write it and let me know if you are finished with this.
Then everyone. <laughs> Sir, are you done with this? Yes, sir. Oh, so this is the best uh, first preparation of alkyne from calcium carbide. The second preparation, basically from vicinal dihalide. Vicinal dihalide. We already discussed what is vicinal in the previous class. Or you can see uh, how we prepare alkyne from vicinal dihalide. This is basically vicinal dihalide. First, we are going to treat uh, treat it with potassium hydroxide. Potassium hydroxide. When we treat with uh, treat it with potassium hydroxide in the presence of alcohol, KBr will be eliminated. KBr will be removed as well as H2O from here. So the product here, uh, here will be formed. It will be equal to CH H. H and one of the Br will be here. Now see what happens, uh, what happened here. KOH, that means K plus OH minus. Okay. And one of the Br will come out to be Br minus and one of the hydrogen will come out like H plus. Now this positive will go to this negative with it, this negative and H plus OH minus will be H2O. Okay. And this positive will go with this negative K plus Br minus will KBr will be eliminated. Now, with this alkene, we have to mix it, uh, mix this alkene with NaNH2, NaNH2, sodium, uh, soda amide, uh, amine, and then here NaBr as well as NH3 will be eliminated. You can see here Na, Na will take Br with himself and it will be out NaBr and NH2 will take this hydrogen and it will be out like uh, uh, NH3. Now what left here is C double bond H and H. So this carbon will make a triple bond with each other and it will be ethane. Now, <clears throat> just write it. Are we done with this? If you are done with this, let me know, please. Done, sir. <clears throat> okay. Now we are going to discuss about its chemical properties.
in chemical properties first we are going to discuss about acidity acidic character acidic character now see if i am going to ask you about the hybridization can you answer me what is the hybridization of each carbon in the following compound this is sp this is sp so this is sp2 basically and this is sp2 and this is sp3 and this is sp3 now we are going to calculate s character since two orbitals are only two orbitals are involved that means 50% of each orbital are 50% uh, of each orbital is contributing in the hybridization are you getting my point saif arslan say it again what i am saying is there are two orbitals that means 50% of s character and 50% of p character will be there and they are combined to give the hybridization so what will be the contribution of each orbital that is s uh, for s it is 50% for p it will be 50% right yes sir and here s character is 50% now since here three orbitals are involved two of p and one of s that means for uh, we are going to calculate the percentage that means we can divide th uh, 100 by 3 that will be 33% 33.3%. Just take it as a business partner. If two business partner are equally in share, that means 50% of each. If three business partner are equally in share, that means 33.3%. If four business partner are, are equally in share, that means 25%, right? Sir? Yes, sir. Now see, S character, S character is directly proportional to electron negativity. S character is directly proportional to electronegativity. Now I will I, I will connect this point to acidic character. See, acidity or acidic character directly proportional to <coughs> minus i. What does this minus i? Minus i means uh, that i stand for inductive effect. This i in, uh, induct uh, stand for inductive effect. And what does this minus tells us minus tells us that it is electron with drawing group it is electron with drawing group an element or a compound which is more electronegative that will be more acidic so basically <clears throat> in equilibrium according to lewis acid electron donor is base and electron acceptor is acid so in organic chemistry we see electronegativity or uh, we see electronegativity to compare the acidic character of any compound okay is that clear sir arsalan sir yes sir now see if i will ask if i will ask which hydrocarbon is most acidic can you answer me which hydrocarbon is more most acidic ethyne ethene and ethane can you answer me arslan saif which one is most acidic the compound which is more electronegative is more acidic so you can see here 50% s character that means it is more electronegative because s character directly proportional to electronegativity so the acidic character will be like this ethyne will be most acidic okay please write it sir mm. 
Yes. Uh, is there any doubt in this? No, sir. Okay, just write it. Please let me know when you are done with this. <clears throat> Done, Seth. Yes, it done. Very good. Now, going for next chemical properties. That's the, that is addition of hydrogen. Addition of hydrogen. That means we are going to add hydrogen in alkyne. So this reaction is carried out in the presence of catalyst platinum, nickel and palladium. To add two hydrogen in this alkyne, we need to break one of the bond. So it will be CH double bond CH and one hydrogen will go to this carbon and one of the hydrogen will go to this carbon. So it will be CH2 CH2. Again, we are going to add H2 in the presence of nickel, palladium and platinum so again one of the bond will broke one one of the bond will be broken and it will be like this so in addition of hydrogen uh, addition of hydrogen in alkyne leads to the formation of alkane is that clear yes sir it's three c triple bond ch Please do this question. So should we do all the way to alkanes or? Yes, alkanes. Till the formation of alkane. Okay.
Any answer? Sahif, it shouldn't take this much time. See here. Yes, sir. One of the bond will be broken, and since double bond will be left with the carbon, one of the hydrogen will go to this, and one of the hydrogen will go through this. Again, we are going to add hydrogen in the presence of platinum, palladium, and nickel. Again. one of the bond will broken and it will be ch3 ch2 and then ch3 so propane is converted into propane first it is converted into propane and then with the addition again addition of hydrogen it is converted into propane just write it and if you are done with this let me know please <coughs> Sir, can I change the slide? Yes, sir. Now see. Next, next chemical properties is basically addition of halogens. Addition of halogens. Addition of halogens in alkyne. So, if we are going to add halogens in this alkyne. in the presence of nothing so one of uh, to add br2 we have to break one of the old bond between carbon carbon wait a minute it's hanging so one of the bond will be broken and it will be ch2 double bond ch2 again we are going to add br2 so one of the bond between carbon carbon again will be broken and it will be ch2 yeah, uh, sorry sorry just see what i made a mistake one of the bond will be broken so it will be ch double bond ch and what we need to add is this br one of the br will go to this and one of the br will go to this again we will add br2 in this and the product will be like one of the bond will again broken and it will be ch single bond ch already there were two bromine on each carbon and now again bromine will be here so you just have to break the bond and you have to add the hydrogen or halogen according to the question across the multiple bond Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Okay. Just do it and let me know. Then I will give you a question on this to practice. Then we will move to the next properties. <clears throat> okay, sir. If you are done with this, let me know.
Are you done with this app? Done, sir. Okay. I'm going to give you a question. Give me the answer, please. CH3, C triple bond, CH. We are going to add Br2. Please give me the answer. <clears throat> <clears throat> Are you done with this? Sir. Yes, sir, done. Okay. What is the product basically? You can see one of the bond will be broken and here it will be CH3C, double bond CH and bromine will come to this and bromine will come to this. Again, we are going to add Br2. So the product will be like c ch3 c and one of the bond will be broken from here and it will be single br was already there and it will be like this and this bromine will be split equally at here and at here have you got the same answer Sir, yes, sir. Okay, very good. Now we are going to add addition of hydrogen halide. Addition of hydrogen halide. So the next addition of hydrogen halides. What is hydrogen halides? That is HX, HCl, HBr, HI. So whenever you want to add hydrogen halide into an alkene, CH triple bond CH, what happens here is you just need to add it. So break one of the bond, it will be like CH double bond CH and one of the hydrogen will go to this and one of the bromine will go to this bromine. Again, you have to add HBr to make a single bond, unsaturated hydrocarbon, saturated hydrocarbon, CH, single bond CH, one of the hydrogen, bromine will be repeated on the carbon. You have uh, just uh, be focused that if you added this bromine to this carbon, you have to add the second bromine to the second, uh, to the same carbon. Bromine was here. So you have to add this bromine to here and hydrogen, you can see here two, uh, two hydrogen already. So this hydrogen will go to this hydrogen. Is this clear, Saf? Yes, sir. So just write it and do this question. CH3C triple bond CH and add HBR. Please do this.
Are you done with this? Yes, sir, done. So, what is your product? Can you name it? you can give if you are going to give uh, you have to break one of the bonds so the product will be like uh, double bond ch so i'm going to take br here because it is electronegative so you have to uh, take br to um, br in made h again you have to add hbr so one of the another bond will be broken multiple bond so it will be like br here and this br will go to the same carbon now you can see ch h and this hydrogen will go to the same carbon and the left one okay yes sir just write it Can I change the slide? Sir? Yes, sir. Okay. Next, addition of water. Addition of water is basically there will be isomerism. Do you heard of, uh, do, uh, do you know about functional group isomerism? Saif and Arsalan, do you know about uh, functional group isomerism? Functional group isomerism basically same chemical formula with different structural, different functional group, same chemical formula. You can see I am writing here CH2 double bond C, OH and here it is H. Now I can write it like CH3, C double bond OH. Count the formula, you can see the formula will be C2H3, sorry, H4O and here you can see C2H4O. So basically, same chemical formula and here you can see it is alcohol and here you can see it is aldehyde. So same chemical formula with a different functional group is called functional group isomerism. Are you getting my point, Saif? Yes, sir. So how we do addition of water? You can see CH triple bond CH will be added into water, HOH, in the presence of Hg plus 2 and acid H plus at 333 Kelvin. So what happens here is you need to add it. So one of the bond will be broken. So what, uh, what will be left? CH double bond CH. Now this bond will also break. One of the hydrogen will go to this and one voice will go to this. Is this clear? Now there will be isomerism. There will be isomerism. Now I will write this formula as, uh, wait a minute. 
this is okay okay very good i am going to write this as this o h and here h now see what happens and here it is double bond this double bond will move to move here and this hydrogen basically goes to this carbon basically here isomerism taking place isomerization the process is known as isomerization now you can see uh, wait a minute wait a minute if you are removing the double bond from here the hydrogen will go to this carbon okay so what will be the product it will be ch3 then single bond double bond o and this this is called basically isomerism and alcohol and uh, uh, this aldehyde is similar to each other that's why they are uh, always use using uh, functional group isomerism just write it Just let me know when you are done with this. Are you done with this, Seth? Done, sir. Okay. I'm going to give you another example. CH3, C triple bond, CH. And you are going to add HOH in the presence of HG plus 2 slash H plus 333 Calvin. Now what happens? One of the bond will be broken and here one of the bond will be broken. OH will go to the central carbon because it is negatively charged. So it is CH3C. OH will be here and double bond will be like this. Now see what happens. This double bond will move to this. So hydrogen will move to this. Carbon. So isomerization, do isomerization. CH3, C double bond O, and then CH3. CH2 already it was, one of the hydrogen will move to this, shift to this, it will be ketone. Okay. Let me know when you are done with this. Done, Saif, Arsalan? Yes, sir. Okay. Moving to the next chemical properties, that is known as cyclic polymerization. 
cyclic polymerization. See what happens here. When three moles of ethyne is heated in red hot iron tube, they will polymerize with each other to form benzene. Red hot iron tube at 873 Kelvin. Bond will be like this, broken and connected to this between this and this and like this. Now what it will form? It will form benzene. This is known as benzene. Either like this or either like this. Or you can write like this. Its chemical formula is C6. H6. Just Done. Very good, Arsalam. Uh, Saif, can I change the slide? Yes, sir. Now see. I'm going to give you some questions. From the previous class too. An alkene A on ozonolysis gives a mixture of gives a mixture of ethanol and methanol wait a minute just change the methanol ethanol and Pentane, three ohm. Write the structure. And IUPAC. Name of. Okay. Just write it. Can you do this or should I start explaining? Can you do this?
can you do this saf or should i explain it to you um, one minute sir okay waiting for your reply Arslan, any answer? Three ethyl pen two answer. <clears throat> okay, uh, Arslan, I will check it out right now. Okay, both same. Three methyl. Okay, see what I told you is that ethanol that I am going to write it as uh, CH three C double bond O H and pentane three on. Uh, that means uh, I am going to write it C double bond O and uh, pentane three on. That means on third number of carbon. So CH2, CH3, and here it will be CH2, CH3. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. So you are going to remove this. So it will be, uh, I will arrange it in at last uh, CH3, CH double bond C, double bond C, and then CH2, CH3. And again with this C, CH2, CH3. So you can number it and name it one, two, three, four, five. So the name is three ethyl pent two in. Very good. Very good. Arsalan, you missed it. Seth, not methyl, it's ethyl, right? Yes, sir. Just write it, correct it. Done, Seth. Can, uh, can we move to the next part? <clears throat> Seth? Yes, sir. Next question, which is very important. An alkene. A contains three C single C that means three single bond eight C H sigma bond and one C C pi bond. A on ozonolysis gives two moles of two moles of an aldehyde of molar mass forty four U. Write IUPAC name of A. Write IUPAC names of name of A. Please write the IUPAC name of A.
Can you do this? Saif, Ersalan. One minute, sir. Okay. Arslan, any answer? Arslan, wow. Butte twin, what do you want to say? 44U is the molar mass of butte twin, right? See what the question is. An alkene, an alkene A contains 3 cc 8 CH sigma bonds and 1 cc pi bond. A on ozonolysis gives 2 moles of an aldehyde of molar mass. This is the molar mass of aldehyde. So I start from the basic a smallest uh, a smallest aldehyde is basically HCHO. <clears throat> if you are going for this <clears throat> its molar mass, you will get uh, 16 plus 12. That will be equal to 28, right? 28 plus 2, that is 30. And if you are going for CH3, CHO, 12, 12, 24 plus and 16 and then plus 2. That will be equal to how much? 42. No, no, no. Sorry. 4. So it will be 44. So basically our aldehyde is ethanol. Our aldehyde is ethanol. Sef, are you getting it, Sef? Yes, sir. So our aldehyde is basically ethanol. So if we are going for ethanol, just see what you need to do is like you have to write it like this. 
so that it will be very comfortable and then again you are going to do this and you will get the get, get your answer ch and then double bond ch and then ch3 now according to the question uh, very good your answer is uh, right arsala you can see how many ch bond uh, here it will be and how many pi bond and you uh, you name it but to in just write it Are you done with this, sir? Yes, sir. Done. Okay. Now see. <laughs> right topic. Aromatic hydrocarbon. Aromatic hydrocarbon. First, we are going to understand what is aromatic compound. so see there are three conditions to be aromatic three conditions to be aromatic the first condition is the compound should be cyclic the first condition is the compound should be cyclic the second condition is it should be planar it should be planar not out of the plane inside the plane it should be on the plane and the third is it should follow huckel rule follow huckel rule and what is huckel rule i'm going to tell you follow huckel rule huckel rule is basically 4n plus 2 pi electron now n is here n here is whole number if you are putting n is equal to 0 then pi electron will be 2 pi electron you can see if you are going to put the value of n is equal to 0 4 into 0 will be equals to 0 and 2 pi electron and if you are going to put 1 that will be 4 into 1 Four plus two that will be six pi electron, and if you are going to put two, it will be ten pi electron and fourteen pi electron, and then eighteen. Uh, wait a minute, eighteen uh, pi electron, and then twenty-two pi electron. Okay, everyone. So, what is this pi electron? Can you tell me how many electrons does a bond contains? How many electrons? So again, say again. How many how many electrons in a bond? Uh, how many electrons present in a bond? One. One. Just see. Here is H H. Now you know that uh, how does it bond? Uh, how does it uh, how it makes bond? Hydrogen has one electron, and this hydrogen has also one electron. so it will basically share this electron with this and it will share this with electron with this so a bond is formed between this uh, these two hydrogen atoms and you can see one bond contains two electron one bond contains two electrons right yes sir so if it is sigma bond that means single bond if it is sigma bond that means two sigma electron and if it is pi bond you know that in double bond one of the bond is sigma and one of the bond is pi right do you know or not yes sir so this pi bond will have two pi electron yes because 
in one bond there are two electrons if it is pi bond that means pi two pi electrons if it is sigma bond that means two sigma electrons so is this clear yes sir so whenever a, a compound is given you have to first look at the compound and see whether it is cyclic or not if it is cyclic then go for planarity if it is planar just uh, see the hybridization if it is sp2 that means planar and if it is planar after that you have to check huckel rule so how do you check the huckel rule will it follow or not so just count the pi bond and multiply it by 2 because one pi bond contains two electrons so if it will have uh, one pi bond that means two electron two pi electron that means it will for, uh, it is aromatic compound and if it is uh, if if it has uh, two pi bond that means four pi electrons okay just write it just write it and let me know So n is number of bonds, right? N is not number of bonds. N is real uh, whole number. It's the value zero, one, two, three. From where we got two pi electron, six pi electron, ten pi electron, fourteen pi electron. Actually, we need to look at the compound and see how many pi bond is there. And if you can uh, see how many pi bond are there, pi bonds are there. Can you calculate pi electrons? Yes or no, sir? Yes, sir. then if the pi electrons that you have calculated there matches this pi pi electrons that means it will follow it is aromatic compound these three conditions will satisfy simultaneously it, it shouldn't be like one is following and the other is the other two is not following two is follow two is satisfying and the third is not satisfied these three conditions should be satisfied simultaneously yes sir okay just write it and let me know are you done with this minutes yes sir then so i'm going to take an example just see i'm going to give you an example that i'm taking uh, benzene you know this is basically benzene so if you are going to see benzene is like this okay so first of all is it cyclic yes or no answer me sir it is cyclic it is cyclic that means first is satisfying uh what about the planarity can you calculate the hybridization of all six carbon yes or no yes sir since double bonded carbon that means sp2 every carbon is sp2 that means trigonal planar it is planar compound yes or no yes sir how many pi bonds you are looking at how many pi bonds six how many pi bonds i am talking about Three, three pi bond. How many pi electrons are there? That means six. Three into two. That will be six pi electron. And if it is six pi electron, look at this. Look at the value. Six pi electrons are here. That follows Huckel rule. That means this 
compound is satisfying these three conditions simultaneously that means benzene is a aromatic compound benzene is an aromatic compound yes or no yes sir so this is the example aromatic compound just write it and then i am giving you some questions you have to tell me whether it is aromatic or not arslan do you have any doubt regarding this Okay, if you are done with this, then let me know, please. Are you done with this, sir? Yes, yes, sir. Okay. Tell me whether this compound is aromatic or not. these five questions are very important tell me whether it is aromatic or not done tell me the answer first whether it is aromatic or not sir sir am i audible yes sir uh tell me the about first it is cyclic or not yes sir it's cyclic it is cyclic now go for every carbon is making double bond every carbon you can see this carbon is making double bond from here to here this carbon is making double bond every carbon is making double bond that means each carbon will have sp2 hybridization yes or no yes sir 
and how many pi bonds are here in the all in the compound how many pi bonds are here seven 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 is it seven seven how many pi electrons 14 sir 14 was 14 number uh, 14 pi electrons available in huckel yes, sir. it will go uh, and so on if if it will uh, uh, it won't stop at 22 electron if you will uh, solve it uh, and so on it will have some more value like 26 pi electrons 30 pi electrons okay are you getting my point if you are yes, changing the value of n you will get more and more okay so uh, that means it is aromatic right yes sir now tell me how uh, it is cyclic or not cyclic or not yes it is it is cyclic this is sp2 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 what does the hybrid what is the hybridization of this it is also sp2 yes, why sir. it is sp2 hydrogen will be here but positive charge that means electron on the carbon is lost that means someone is gained from there and it will have a value three sigma bond that means sp2 okay yes sir oh, wait a minute so it is sp2 that means planar right yes sir how many pi bond three pi bond that means six pi electron it is also aromatic yes now go for this this answer me please I'm expecting answer from you. If you have any doubt, ask me, please. What about the second answer? Second one? It is, a hydro, it is a aromatic, sir. It is aromatic. Very good. What about the fourth? Fourth is very a special kind of, <coughs> basically, <coughs> since it is sp2, 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 sp2. This will also be sp2 because the lone pair present here will, uh, this is delocalized lone pair. This is delocalized lone pair. That means it is basically it will take part in resonance so it will also move or uh, it is also pi electron so uh, since this two pi bond will have four pi electrons and this lone pair is also taking part in resonance to make pi bond so it is uh, two pi more electron that means six pi electron it is also aromatic look at this sp2 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 cyclic and two pi electrons only one pi bond is forming that means two pi electron it is also aromatic compound is that clear Saf? Yes, sir. Uh, Saf and Arsalan, uh, the rest we will study in the next class. We will complete this chapter and start S block. We will have only S block and P block after this chapter, right? Yes, sir. Uh, do you have any doubt? No. Arsalan? Okay, actually, uh, this chapter almost completed. Uh, so next in next class, we will study or uh, I will take extra class if needed. Okay. Now, when will your be paper? Your paper will be on final paper, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, your final paper. Uh, I want to know the date. 
one minute sir check and see yes yes please check it and tell me and arslan what about you So my pre boards are starting um, chemistry is 5th or 5th of march and final exam i have chemistry on 20 20 march yes 20 march okay uh, before that i can is uh, we can easily complete the syllabus because uh, very less uh, chapter left and uh, you have deleted syllabus according to cbse right You also have deleted portion, no? Saf? Yes, sir. Okay. We can easily complete it by uh, before uh, 10th of March, okay? Okay, sir. Okay, thank you so much.